PT help. Describe image. Test 12. Sample 90 skulls response from PT help. This image represents the structure of the racing bicycle. At the first glance, it can be observed that it is made from different elements, enabling the rider to ride it comfortably. Near the sitting position named as saddle, there is a reflector, seat stay, rear braking system, sit tube and down tube. Near the handling position, there are handlebar, lever, head tube, and front brake. The rear tire and rim is attached with the derailers, chain, cranks with three chain wheels and pedal with toe clips, which help in bicycle's acceleration. The hub and fork support the front tire of the bicycle. PTA help. Describe image. Test 12. Sample 90 skulls response from PTA help. This flow chart represents the life cycle of a chicken. This image makes it easy to understand the various steps included during this entire life cycle. Firstly, hens give eggs in its nest after mating. Then the roosting process begins by the hens. After a couple of days, eggs are hatched and baby chicks take birth. The chick starts growing and within a few months, it becomes a fully grown adult. This life cycle has been repeating since the time immortal. Due to its simplification, this is an easier method to teach the pupils about the life cycle of the chicken. PTA help. Describe image. Test 12. Sample 90 skulls response from PTA help. The bar chart illustrates the number of the new bank's establishment between the year 1993 till 2013. In a quick glance, it can be noticed that the numbers were highest in the year 1998. In the initial years, the number remained around 49. In the next couple of years, a dramatic incline can be noticed in the establishment of the new banks, till the year 1998, but it was drastically dropped down in the next years till 2002. Afterwards, the graph again shows an upward trend, scaling at nearly 170 in the year 2006, but after some years, in 2011, 12 and 13, it was absolutely zero.
PT help. Describe image. Test 12. Sample 90 skulls response from PT help. The image represents the LED light bulb and its internal and external structure, which is quite different from a fluorescent bulb. At the first glance, it can be noticed that the lamp base is quite small at the bottom, which is made up of any metal. It works as a medium to pass the electricity and the bulb from the socket. Secondly, the LED drivers help in controlling the flow of the current before reaching the LED bulbs at the top. The whole internal structure is shielded with the plastic lamp body. The LED plate holds the LED bulbs, which is shielded with diffuser. PTA help. Describe image. Test 12. Sample 90 skulls response from PTA help. This image represents the structure of the high pressure sodium lamp. At the first glance, it can be noticed that its internal and external structure is quite different from a fluorescent bulb and LED bulbs. At its top internally, the dome mount is installed, followed by an arc tube seal, tungsten electrode and getter. The frame holds everything. The internal tube is known as ceramic arc. There is also another tungsten electrode and arc tube seal at the bottom. The metallic base of the bulb is connected with a stem and eyelet. Overall, these types of bulbs seem more complicated to be made than other types of bulbs. PT help. Describe image. Test 12. Sample 90 skulls response from PT help. The bar chart illustrates the percentage of the population aged 65 and over, in England, Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland and United Kingdom, in the year 1985 and the predictions of 2035. Firstly, it is clear that the elder aged citizens were most in the Wales, accounting for 16% and followed by UK and England, accounting for 15%. The lowest numbers of elder people were in Northern Ireland. However, the demographic predictions depict that the percentage will incline rapidly in all the regions, where Scotland will surpass Northern Ireland, England and UK.